as he said, the form reduction building, uh, based on our available data and the contamination modeling that we've done, we've determined that there is Hoosier contamination underneath that building. So, uh, as we are authorized to do so, in order to access that contamination, we have made the decision that that building does need to be removed. All right, so tonight we're here for the annual public information session for the Lucky Foosrap Remediation Project. Um, I'm with the Corps of Engineers. We're the lead federal agency on the project, responsible for the cleanup. Uh, we come out here once a year just to update the public on the progress that's being made and uh, where we stand in terms of the project. As opposed to last year, pleased to report that we have started remediation. Uh, we're approximately 30% done with the first phase of the cleanup, which is in the lagoon area on the south side of the site. Um, it's about just under 10% of the total project. Uh, excavation started in April of last year, and then we began uh, shipping uh, waste containers in late June of last year. Next year, uh, we should be finishing up that phase one area, which is the lagoon area. Um, we'll begin... Uh, closing that area out and basically restoring it back to you know what it'll be when we're finally done and we'll slowly just work our way around the site remediating as we go kind of in a if you're looking at a map of the site kind of a clock or excuse me a counterclockwise direction around the site as we take we collect samples of the material that's excavated um, to make sure that it complies with the the waste acceptance criteria at our disposal facility um, you know Years previous to this, of course, during the remedial investigation phases, we collected many samples out there to, to characterize the site. We continue to do that, as well as groundwater samples as well.